Hey sweeties, how are you doing? Welcome to Naya Sim Awesome Naya. If this is your first time of coming across this channel, sweetheart, kindly smash that subscribe button and turn your notification so you are notified each time I upload and please give this video a thumb up. I appreciate you all so much and I am saying a very big shout out to every one of you for the support, the love you all showing me here with. I am grateful and you all are sweet. So today we'll be talking something very important. It's about a, a video that I like. It's uh, in part, but you definitely will enjoy it why people telling tr the truth why they are jealous of black people especially black women and i am like why are you all like you know instead of you all to admit that you are jealous then you all go around and look for a way to gaslight them gaslight black people not even uh, it is them that they are gaslighting themselves not even black people and all that that's why we wake up every day to them wanting to braid the culture appropriation because they think or they feel like they can come into your space uh without even you saying you're not even supposed to say anything i mean when they do things like this they tell you that they are appreciating your culture then if it is when black people do braids and all that it is gettable when they do it it is all cool and beautiful no not anymore and then you see them like there is what i saw them doing these days wearing people's uh, uh traditional attire and all that i think there is one they did to uh if the indians i mean the natives and they were really so mad at it and telling them to stop it and this is also the way they move around trying to appropriate black culture and the rest of it and then we have dixon telling you that white people are all doing all this why because they know that they really do not have anything to hold on to so what is going to be left for them when like you know everyone is all doing great and the system demanded is being that's why you see how they are working so hard not to dismantle the system they mantled because they are like, wait, how are black people supposed to be like, you know, doing amazingly well and all that. So they are keeping with holding some powers to them. You all know they are colonizers and you all know what they know how to do best. Try to steal things from people and try to keep it. I am rolling this clip. We'll come back to talk about it. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. So let's get it. Hi everybody, white people are colonizers. <laughs> yes, we are. I gotta be honest about it, we really are. And I know white people right now are saying, I'm not a colonizer, oh, you hurt my feelings. Well, you are, probably in your mindset, um, in your ideology, you probably do have the mentality of a colonizer because most white people do, and I'll tell you why. 500 years ago, our colonizing culture, white European culture was born, and we set out to steal things, resources, and that were not ours. We, we colonized, we enslaved all over the world. We, we enslaved Africans. We tried to dehumanize them and tell them, manipulate them and gaslight them by telling them that they are not equal to us, that they are as an animal and that the only real human are white people. Oh, I don't see color. Oh, it's a black man's fault that he's in the position. Well, what about black on black crime? I mean, it goes on and on and on. You know, I mean, I, I could sit here all day and give you examples. Uh, all lives matter. I mean, it just goes on all day. Black people ask for justice. White people find a way to try to obscure it, to try to take away from it, to try to demean it. We are colonizers. And I say that based on our behavior, collectively as white people. And until we stop being gaslighters and colonizers, white people are on a path of self-destruction. White supremacy, the lies of white supremacy, the colonizing mentality has never brought the white man happiness and it never will. It's toxic, dysfunctional, and self-defeating. And it's not helping us. And now there's all this white rage because when the abuser loses control, he gets angry. And then Trump was born because we had a black president. And he was perfect because he was racist. And that's what white America wanted because they're angry because they felt like they were losing control. Because colonizers have to have control. And we had a black president. And everybody just shit all over themselves. White people just freak the fuck out. Oh my God, we're losing control. We have a black president. He's going to oppress us and enslave us. God knows we're going to be whipped and lynched. This is literally, I think, some of the thoughts, uh, the subconscious. I'm exaggerating, but in a way it's true. The greatest fear of the colonizer is all that evil, vile shit that we did will be done up unto them, us. 
And that's why the, there's so much white rage. The numbers are changing. Pretty soon, white people will not be the, the majority. The abuser loses control. So what do we do? We continue gaslighting. We continue with white rage. White domestic terrorism on, on, on the rise. The greatest threat in America. White people are enraged because they can no longer control their victims. Black and brown people the way that they want to. They're losing some of their power, some of their positions, some of their privilege. They feel threatened. So here we are in a state of crazy, utter chaos. That's why I say the lies of white supremacy is our destruction. The numbers are changing. Pretty soon, white people will not be the, ma the majority. All right. You should go watch that video. He does a pretty good job of describing what white tea culture is. But the main reason why I wanted to make this video is because of this specific clip right here. Because I wanted everybody to know that white tea people have never been the majority ever in history. Never ever in history have white tea people ever been the majority of people on the population of the earth. They have always made up less than 8% of the entire world's population. They have tricked us all with colonization and their laws and their rules and their aggressive cold burn YT culture mentality that they are the majority because they run things. But I just want to clarify, they've never been the majority. They've never been, there's never been more of them than anybody else. Oh, and on top of that, as long as there are black women, YT people will never disappear. They will never go away because black women are the only women, the only human beings on the face of the planet that hold what we call the Eve gene. This means that they're the only ones who can birth the darkest to the lightest beings on the face of the planet. They're the only ones, which means a black woman and a black man can have a YT baby. You'll never disappear. You'll never go away wear braids or wear native African clothes, um, if we go and have an aggressive tan, we are never going to be questioned. That's white privilege. And that's why we can freely copy black women for everything they naturally are and reap benefits and even get praised on top of what another person's discrimination is all about. So how can we comfortably sit and be like, um, I'm wearing braids because it's only hair. No, it's not only hair. It's another person's daily struggle because it's their culture and they're not free to express it. Meanwhile, you, Karen, and you, Becky, you go out, wear the braids, get praises, and absolutely do nothing against the discrimination black women f go through. Um, that's the acceptance of compliments. That's when we are getting those compliments without correcting that, oh, thank you. This is actually a black hairstyle. This is actually, we are not even ready to question our own white privileges. That's why we are labeling it only hair so that we can comfortably cultural appro culturally appropriate another person's identity. We are using these um, statements to make ourselves comfortable while we know that we are doing the wrong thing. We know, deep down we know, we just don't want to say it out because we want to reap the benefits. So I think we should all, as white women, just admit, we're jealous of black women's hair. Now, I stopped saying we should all do this, we should all do that somewhere around high school or college because I apparently am not the norm. Um, later in life found out I was autistic, so I apparently think about things differently. But I have always loved their hair and hated my own. And I think that a lot of this appropriative box braids, other than clout chasing and rage farming, because... People do stupid shit for views. But I think a lot of it, and the reason white women get so bad out of shape, you're just jealous that their hair looks better than ours. That's why it's dis discriminated against, is because they have something we don't, and we just can't handle that, can we? Can we just admit we're jealous and stop with the bullshit and nonsense and just let them have their hair and shut up about it? Because that'd be awesome. We should all, as white women, just admit we're jealous of black women's hair. First of all, y'all, protect her. I definitely commend you for admitting it. When I first moved to a new city, I had a woman who doesn't look like me say to me, hey, you know what? If you weren't so pretty, your hair would just be so offensive. I said, bitch, who the fuck is you talking to? She was like, what do you mean? 
I always try to compliment black women's hair. I just think it's so pretty. I said, that's not a compliment. Who the fuck taught you that's a compliment? And y'all, for my sisters who are working in these corporations, it's not the, the, the white men who are making the big deal about our hair. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a damn. Until Karen comes in there talking about how scared and shit she is, how offended she is by our hair. Then y'all be the first ones to ask for a damn beauty secret. I'm going to say this because my step is about it. It's not the hair you're jealous of. It's that glowing ass spirit you're mad about. Was the question, why do white people hate black people so much? I have been in situations where I've been surrounded by nothing but white people. And this conversation has come up. The race conversation has come up. And no one ever has an actual reason as to why they hate black people. There's always these, oh, black on black crime. Oh, they're lazy. Oh, they're this. But it's not actually, there's no legitimacy behind their reasoning. It's just shit that they've heard and they're regurgitating. And so, long story short, it really comes down to there is no reason. It's a deep-seated jealousy, a deep-seated hate that, you know, black people exude greatness. Black people are the great inventors. Black people are the beginning of the human race, the Eve gene. And white people have worked so hard to erase the history and erase the greatness of the black race down to even when things are invented, the majority of things that are invented were invented by a black person. But yet the white race has actually erased the original inventor from history and have put their names on things that they had no business putting their names on. So this is all I got from this video and really like, you know, I just don't understand the jealousy, but then I am also happy that they are admitting that they are jealous of black people and all that. That's why every day you wake up and then you see like every two, two days, like you will not, you won't stop seeing people like pump color people braiding their hair and uh, trying to tell you that, uh, uh, they are also supposed to do it because it's your culture and we are still struggling to uh, struggling for the brace to be recognized when it comes to black people because it is ghetto when we do it but it is you know super great and amazing when they do it and they actually know already that like you know that they are losing it they are losing everything and uh, what would they actually be left with so they are trying as much as they can to like you know keep their power keep the power the one they are holding that's why they want to continue to hold it that's why if you look around you see systemic racism and all that that's why they know like they dismantle all these things so what is gonna be left i mean black people are just gonna blow up like you know so they know what they are doing sincerely speaking and uh, the game they are playing, we already know, black people already know it, and they, 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 they know how they tackle them, they know how they follow them. But then, I really cannot wait for the, the table to turn around. So they feel that heat. They actually need to feel that heat, sincerely speaking. They need to feel it to understand how it feels. Because some of them, when something really tiny happens, you see them screaming. Uh, you all are treating us like a minority and so they know there is how they treat minority from majority and it's amazing how they actually think that they are the major thing when they have no idea that they are already the minority and all that I am also happy that uh, Dixon White, White actually said it that yeah we all already know that they what they are colonizers you know anything they touch anything they see you with and they like it and they're jealous of it. They want they want to take it and keep it for themselves. Even when it's they always want to be in everybody's space, right? 
because that is what they do and that is what they know how to do best and the rest of it so this is where i am gonna draw the cut and see you all in my next video peace out